Hi everyone, I'm Claire. And I'm John. And today's article is called Recession Fatigue. Um, uh, it's pretty clear from the title uh, what this is all about. We are sick and tired of dark news mm -hmm. about uh, financial crisis, mm -hmm. financial uh, problems mm -hmm. over and over again. Uh, and uh, that in itself is causing more problems. Mm -hmm. Can you just review for us, okay. how has the world economy been over the past two years? Crazy, hectic, unpredictable, and uh, on the whole, not well. <laughs> mm. um, what surprised me the most about the economy over the last two years is how, number one, resilient it's been, but number two, that resilience came from unpredictable behavior of the market. In traditional forms, you'd be like, oh, obviously the market is going to crash right now. And then it went up. Wait, what? Why? Why is it going up? Mm -hmm. And then you'd be like, okay, we're getting back and we're staying. Oh, and it's down. Okay, why? Why did it just fall again? Mm -hmm. And it just happened over and over. Now, with the war in Ukraine and this sort of tension mm -hmm. that's been happening around the world, uh, the economy has gotten back to like a normal, like state. I don't want to say stable, but at least a normal pattern. Mm -hmm. But yeah, in 2020 and 2021, it was just like, what is the economy going to do tomorrow? Let's find out by waking up. <laughs> and that's how it was. So the world economy has been up and down all around. It has been as sick as we have been with mm -hmm. COVID. Mm -hmm. Do you have a good outlook on the economy right now, though? I mean, what is your outlook? Well, yeah, not great. It's pretty mm -hmm. negative because mm -hmm. the problems are still going on. Mm -hmm. uh, I suppose that the COVID, uh, the, the effects of lockdowns mm -hmm. and uh, COVID uh, seem mm -hmm. to be sort of stabilizing, but we've got a new set of problems now that are largely involving fuel and mm -hmm. um, international delivery. Fuel, food, uh, delivery, yeah. So again, and when is that going to end? When will Russia stop? And when will we resolve the fuel, mm -hmm. fuel issues? Mm -hmm. um, how will we resolve the fuel issues? Mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't predict, I don't know enough about uh, economic forecasting. So I do feel a bit depressed that this could go on and on and on and on. Uh, they, I think they're predicting that at least until late next year, economy is going to be kind of kind of in the dumps. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And it might raise again on the last part of the year, but... And wasn't, weren't we just reading the other day about China, some parts of China again going yeah. back into lockdown and mm -hmm. that shutting down production in certain regions mm -hmm. and causing new supply chain issues. And I'm sure that will have its economic effect, knock on effects. Yeah. So, yeah, it just feels never ending. When one problem gets resolved, you're already, already expecting the next and the next and the next. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's get into this uh, topic a little bit deeper with the summary or preferably the full article for all the detail. See you after you've read. Recession Fatigue The barrage of negative financial news in the past few years has caused many people to become exhausted with the topic, to the point where they no longer want to attend to preparing for economic adversity. There is a tendency to engage in revenge spending and live for the moment, instead of managing personal finances responsibly. This tendency is particularly pronounced among members of Generation Z, who feel like they have missed out on crucial experiences of youth due to recent hard times.